Good morning. It's Tuesday, January 12th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled Grounded Part 2, and our scripture is Psalm 69. I am suffering and in pain. Rescue me, O God, by your saving power. Then I will praise God's name with singing, and I will honor him with thanksgiving, for this will please the Lord more than sacrificing cattle, more than presenting a bull with his horns and hoofs. The humble will see their God at work and be glad. Let all who seek God's help be encouraged, for the Lord hears the cries of the needy. He does not despise his imprisoned people. Praise him, O heaven and earth, and the seas, all that move in them. For God will save Jerusalem and rebuild the towns of Judah. His people will live there and settle in their own land. The descendants of those who obey him will inherit the land, and those who love him will live there in safety. Yesterday's prayer of King David, where he said, O God, you know how foolish I am, claims his personal responsibility for the depths to which his relationship with God had fallen. This was no blaming of God or anyone else. He accepts the full weight of his sin. I saw in that a good bit of identification with the beleaguered president of our nation. Not confession, that's not his public kind of response to trouble, but rather the reality that, like David, the president's muddle is a mixture of the nature of being at the center seat of power. Much of it is self-inflicted because of choices made. While yesterday's devotion ended with a call that we pray for Mr. Biden as he takes over on January 20th, it in no way diminishes, for me, the level of prayer I offer for the outgoing president. The scriptures we read today are the result of King David's confession. It resulted in God's forgiveness and restoration of the land. This is what I pray for Donald Trump and all the leaders of our nation, that a revival of trusting in God marked by humility and confession fuel a blessing of righteousness. It's not too late, in my opinion, for Mr. Trump to do the most important work of the past four years of his administration, and even of his entire life, that to which we're all called, to bow before heaven's throne as King David did. The Apostle Paul unveiled for the believers at Rome what the result is for all who do that. Romans chapter 10, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God, and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. Salvation is of a personal nature, and it's my heartfelt prayer that Donald Trump has or will commit his life to Christ. It's not for me to judge what God alone can, but a good dose of humility in plain sight would be a welcome medicine for the anger and division existing in this country. For you today, whether you're a card-carrying Democrat, Republican, or any other party affiliation or no party affiliation, this is not about politics. This is about praying for the troubled nation in which we live and the souls of our leaders. It's much like the proverb about speaking up. It only takes a bit of silence for evil to prevail. And in this case, the speaking up is in the direction of God's throne room. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.